Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the winningest coach in the history of college basketball, my friend, Coach Harry Statham. Good evening, everyone. I'm thrilled to be here. Thanks for that wonderful introduction and video. Um, it's a, it really means a lot. I didn't know I was old. I saw that picture up there. Things have changed a lot. I don't know. <clears throat> I met John uh, several years ago at the NAIA National Tournament. He was the director of the tournament. And uh, as you might guess, <clears throat> things went like clockwork. It didn't take long to find out that he was really into basketball and did so many things that he's going to be a force and look what he's done. So a great start with John there and uh, many memories about the NAIA. Uh, when uh, we changed to Division II, uh, I kind of lost track of John over the years there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but a, a couple years ago, I heard about um, uh, the initial induction of Hall of Fame for small college basketball. I thought, what is this? Who's the founder? John, of course. So I immediately uh, became a member of the foundation and uh, supported his program, and, and he has done, as you know, tremendous. Um, I, I just, you know, I can't say enough of what he's done so fast. And he's just starting. He's just going to take off and go. I, um, I look back on my career and I've had some, some awards, but this is, uh, to me, the most prestigious of any. Uh, it means so much. Um, I, I think he's saying to us that we as coaches can do more than just coach to win games, that we need to, to do more. And uh, values are so important. And you know, we stress you know, values, integrity, life skills, and hoping that we can get these young men to be responsible citizens. Um, and I'm thinking that this award says that, that he's going to challenge us coaches to do more than just win, but to really stress values and goals. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I, I, um, I'm really... I'm not going to talk very long. I want to let the other guys do this. I just want to say how important this is. I think it's a very unique award and that um, it uh, opens the door for motivation for us to, 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 to do a better job of teaching the, the, uh, the, the goals and values and not just basketball. Uh, I'm a very humble guy and, and uh, very grateful to have this award in my name. It means an awful lot to me. Um, I'm proud of my players. They've been great on the court. They're winners in the work world and they have great families. That's the most important thing. <clears throat> and tonight there's some people at my table that I want to introduce to you. Um, one is Rick Darnell. He's been on the, the video. He drove in from Oklahoma City. Uh, the other is Dr. Paul Funkhauser on the video as well. His wife came in from O'Fallon, Illinois. And last is my wife, Rose. Um, this is about Hall of Fame, and she's my Hall of Fame. She's been here for years and years and years. So she's it. I'm what I am because of her. I couldn't ask for anything more in my lifetime. So with that, let me just say what a great job John is doing. I, I can't uh, say strong enough, we need men like him in high places. He does the right things, the right reasons. Uh, and he's about the great game of basketball and good people. So thanks, John, for all you've done. Thank you, people that have ever been here tonight. Have a great game this weekend, a great season. Think how important your job is as a coach, what you can do beyond win. Win a little bit too, it's job security. But, <laughs> but, 
But there's big things there. So don't waste the opportunity. Thank you so much.